Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this video I'm going to show you how you can make something that's sort of like a shadow box oops, out of a tray. This one. Um, so I don't know if you remember from last year when we made this adorable little shadow box. It's got snow in the bottom. This is a, a box that opens. But we're going to do something kind of similar with this tray. And we're going to be using glitter, which is fun. And I have some of these little trees from Dollar Tree. Um, but, okay, so let me start at the beginning. How's everyone doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, feel free to ask questions and sprinkle and all that good stuff. Okay, so the first thing I did was I put one coat of Waverly ink paint on this tray, which is kind of hard to see, from Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree Plus. It was either three or five dollars. I can't remember for sure, but it's really cute. It's got this little wavy edge. Okay, I did not paint the back yet. I don't know if I will. So I did that, and that is pretty much dry. Then... I took out some pages out of this um, trumpet, trumpet music book, and I just used an X-Acto knife to remove them, and I have a couple right here, so let me see which one is going to, I think this is the one we're going to use. You could also use a... Uh, uh, old books, dictionary pages, anything like that. Okay, so I want the edges of this to be a little bit narrower and also not completely straight. So I'm just going to kind of do a little wavy um, cut on it. I'm just thinking this side might actually be better. I'll pull this up in just a second and show you. Okay, so this is kind of the wavy look that my that I cut it. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. going to get lots of questions. Where did I get my sheet music? I think that book in particular was given to me by my friend, Diane, I think, who had a son who played trumpet in the marching band in high school. Uh, if she didn't give that to me, then I probably picked it up at Goodwill for a couple dollars. And uh, the thing is, one book of sheet music can last a long, long time and go a long ways for crafting. And I love, I love the, um, I, I just love the way sheet music looks. Okay, so we're almost done here. Okay, so can you see it's, Nothing regular, it's just a wavy line. Um, all right. And I have two stencils. I have this one, Home for the Holidays, that I've already done. It's ready over here. I can't wait to show you. This is also the one that I used for this adorable little shadow box. I just opted not to use the words and just to use the house with the little trees and the stars. It is so dang cute. There's so much you could do with that. So that's one. And this is going to be a changeable piece. And this is the other. Which I made some tea towels last week. With that, let me show you real quick. I used the um, glittering black ink for that, so it looks kind of gray, sparklishy, 
And, um, but we're going to use these on a piece of paper. So, this is what I want to say, and it's super important. These stencils are super sticky. And if you have not fuzzed your stencil or used it enough times before you use it on paper, you're going to have a very hard time pulling it up. It may pull up some of the layers of your paper. So you're going to want to fuzz, 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 fuzz. And you can fuzz on a t-shirt like this. Uh, Magnolia has this awesome little tacky towel that's great for fuzzing. And this side is for impatient crafters like me that uh, after they wash a stencil, they want to use it again immediately. So you can pat your stencils dry with that. Um, this, it just go, gets washed. When I do a load of kitchen uh, dish towels, bath towels, it just gets washed normal. Um, and then dried normal. And there's nothing difficult about this little tacky towel. Okay, let me see. I have used this a couple of times. I still think I want to fuzz it just a little bit more. You're probably thinking, holy moly, Heidi, what the heck are you doing? Okay, let's say that's good. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of decide where do I want it to be. I may end up cutting off more of that top. I'm not sure. And I am using black chalk paste. You could also use the glittering black chalk paste, but I don't have any of that right now, so I'm making do with black, um, and it works just fine. Okay, I need to squeegee, and let's see, I need a stir stick. Sorry, I'll be right there. Okay. So I am just going to take a couple of blobs of my black chalk paste and put it on here. It's either too much or not enough. I can never judge that <laughs> very well. And, um, and then I'm just going to use a small cut apart squeegee to quickly push it through the lines the holes in my stencil and then I will stop. I'll come back to pick up the big chunks that are sitting on top of my paper. But I am going to resist that urge that I talk about every time I use this stencil. I end up talking about it. That urge to keep going over and over and over because we're afraid that we missed something or that we didn't get it on enough. And that urge is a bad urge. <laughs> so I'm just looking to see where do I have big, thick globs of my chalk paste. And I'm pulling those up, putting them back in my little pot. This is what it looks like. Okay. This was the perfect amount of fuzzing. Yay! It's adorable, just like that. Okay, I'm going to throw this in my tub over here of water until I can get out to the kitchen sink to clean it. Let me show you. It's absolutely adorable right now. This is the cutest stencil, uh, but we're going to glitter it. So have you guys seen these little pop-up parchment paper sheets that you can get at um, Dollar Tree? And every time I go to Dollar Tree, I look in the aisle that has um, plastic bags and saran wrap and foil and all that. And whenever they have it, which is not all the time, I will grab two or three packages of it. It has 25 sheets. And it's great. Okay, so we're using this Sulin Extra
extra fine glitter in sterling that came from Walmart. And I'm just sprinkling a little bit of glitter over the top of my wet chalk paste. So it's important that it still be wet. Otherwise, it's not going to stick. And the chalk paste is sort of acting like a glue to keep the glitter on. Okay. I am going to be wearing glitter for the rest of the week. I'm just going to put back. Excess. I'm looking to see where did I miss. And this looks silver now. It does not look like, it doesn't even look like black chalk paste, I don't think. What do you guys think so far? This is going to take probably... 30 minutes to dry. Then I'll go outside and I'll shake it and blow it off so that my backyard has glitter everywhere. <laughs> and, um, and then I'll be able to use it. Okay, so let me set it over here until it is fully dry. And let me pull out the one that I did earlier. I did that one that says home for the holidays. And I realize it's hard for you to see the home for the holidays part. But in person, it, that's completely visible. And we're going to create um, kind of like a shadow box, but it doesn't have the front door on it. This was the one I made last year. Isn't that super cute? And we're going to do it by just using our tray. Let's see which side does it stand up better on this side. We're using our tray as like a, not just a surface, more than a surface, but um, anyways. Okay. I have one of these little clippy things in silver, but I cannot find it right now. So I'm gonna use the one that I have in gold and I will have to come back and probably pull it off and find the one in silver to use. But I wanted to be able to make some progress on this project. So, let's see, we're just going to glue it towards the top. And this will make it so that I can change out the art that I have in it. What do you guys think so far? Okay, so let's put our home for the holidays in here and pretend that this little clip here is silver. I may end up cutting my paper a little bit smaller too. We'll see. Okay, so these little Christmas trees, they're bottle brush trees, came from Dollar Tree this, um, this past week. My Dollar Tree store is just starting to put out a little bit here and there. And so, no, they don't have all their Christmas out. Um, so I grabbed some of these trees. And my plan, yes, I'm definitely going to want to uh, shorten my paper. My plan is to glue a couple of trees here on the bottom.
And they did have um, several sizes of these little wood uh, trays at our Dollar Tree Plus store. So, you know, you can get whatever size you think would work for your project. Do you guys like this idea so far? Do a this or a this or say something to me in the comments if you do. That would be awesome. Thank you. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, it's the beginning of October if you're watching this video live. I am not switching over to Christmas or winter even. I'm just trying to mix it up and do something different here and there. I may come back and paint the base of these black, I don't know. So, don't be telling me in the comments that you're not doing Christmas yet and that you wish that I wouldn't be doing it. I'm just trying to mix it up so people don't get bored. So I don't get bored. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And I'm going to do three on one side and two on the other. And I think I probably will come back and paint the bases of those trees black so they sort of disappear. And I could have probably scooched my art down a little bit further. But what do you think? Isn't that cute? And isn't it going to be so super cute to swap it out for this one? Oh, and I pull, pulled out a couple of these little jingle bell things that I thought I would, just to give this some dimension, when this is dry, I'm going to glue like one of these little jingle bell things where the laces are on the skates. So that is the project. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope it inspired you and gave you some ideas of what you can do. Uh, you know, if you, I didn't have another shadow box, but I did have this tray from Dollar Tree, and they stand up on their own just fine. So I just made do with what I had, and. Um, yeah, I hope it inspired you to do the same. Now, I'm going to be chasing glitter around my house for probably a few weeks. And I'll have glitter in my eyebrows and <laughs> everywhere else. The dog will have glitter on, the dogs will have glitter on their noses. And uh, anyways, I'm excited. I think it turned out pretty cute. Okay, alternatively... You could use a piece of watercolor paper. You could even use a piece of canvas cloth. You could use a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, you could use a book page, an encyclopedia page, a dictionary page. You could use anything like that. And you could make it cover the whole entire, uh, you know, inside. Or you can do it like what I have. I think it turned out pretty cute. What do you think? Sparkle is always, what did you say? In fashion. Sparkle is always in fashion. How about adding little snowmen? I don't have any. Where would I find those? Lori, I like that idea. Anyways, this, cost, this whole project, project costs almost nothing. So I think the tray was $3. The set of little 
trees was 125. Um, the glitter was 25 cents worth. The sheet music was five cents. <laughs> the chalk paste and use of the stencil was 50 cents. And, um, and I got something completely unique and different. And it was mostly inspired by this one that does have snow on the inside. Can you see that? Anyways, this was the inspiration. I hope you guys liked it. Do a this or a this. Let me know if you would like my complete supply list. I'll include, you know, everything. I'm already thinking on the list that I've started that I forgot the most important thing, which was the sheet music. So I'll get that edited so it's a complete and entire supply list. And I'll also include at the very bottom the replay in case you came in midstream or you want to start over or watch the whole thing. Alrighty. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Be looking back here for pictures. Um, let me know if you want my supply list. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. Kimberly says, my orders are arriving today. Yay! Isn't that fun? It's like Christmas when your craft supplies come. Yeah. Okie dokie. See you guys later.